this is complex surgery. It's very difficult for the uh, family to understand what kind of surgery you're going to do. And uh, video animation definitely uh, makes the understanding of the surgical procedure a lot better for the patients because they have a mental image, a mental view of what exactly is going on. This 3D animation documentary is an experimental project that illustrates the case and treatment at a newborn child's skull deformation called scaposyphaly. It occurs in about one in 2,000 live births. Uh, the, the, the normal infant skull usually has spaces between the different bones that form the skull. And the purpose why these spaces are available, which we call sutures, is that it allows for the skull to grow. Now, in certain conditions, such as scaphocephaly, one or more of these sutures is closed. The, the, the child is born with a closed suture. Therefore, his skull cannot grow across this suture. And it tends to grow along the other sutures. Therefore, with time, the, the child will develop an abnormally shaped head. To your left is the normal skull compared with a deformed skull to your right. We can see the main suture is missing from the deformed skull. In a normal skull, the suture or space allow the skull to grow in a spherical direction. A missing suture will force the skull to grow in the opposite direction. When the child presents, it usually presents in, in the early part of life, at about the age of six months to one year. This is the best time when we like to do this kind of operation, because at that age, the skull is soft, it's malleable, and therefore you can cut it easily, and you can reshape it the way you want. The principle of the operation is to gain wide exposure of the skull. So you make a big skin incision in the skull, expose all the skull of the child, and then decide how you're gonna make the correction to make the shape of the head better. There are various techniques, surgical techniques for making this correction. Soft skull will be cut in order to release the suture. Then, deconstructing the main segment of the skull to be operated upon later. The top segment of the skull will stay at its place and a small piece of it will be cut away to allow it to grow in later. The skull segment will be cut reshaped and return to its place. Surgical wires are placed to reconnect the skull across new spaces. I've seen the, the video animation that you uh, that you did and uh, I was very impressed with it. Uh, I think this is going to be a very useful tool to be had in the clinic so to show to show the family exactly the steps of the operation because it details uh, the surgical cuts that we're going to do. It also details how uh, abnormal growth happens and how with the corrective procedure that we are about to do, how uh, normal growth is going to resume after the operation.